But now, since we're here at a stir Kinecore and they've very graciously allowed us to sit in their premier lounge or privé lounge and record this, and there are now a few people, and, and, um, and I, when I say a few, there's 12 people maybe, if I use a bit of imagination, that are kind of sitting around. Including us. What, <laughs> what do we do about the movie experience? You know, we, we, we spoke about Netflix and how they made the series watching experience incredible you know the whole Netflix and chill and now you know you can watch movies at home or seri- you can do whatever you want and do it at home and be comfortable and the whole going out thing always seems to be a disappointment you're disappointed either at the how, how complicated it was to pay how much it was then the, and then the popcorn and coke I mean it's now like a 600 buck experience if you got you know your husband and a wife and a kid you know by the time you finish with the popcorn and it just seems something's broken with the experience. I... So, so Matjek and I spoke about this before with the, uh, with the release of the last Star Wars movie because mm-hmm. I go to watch Star Wars movies and that's kind of it. I, I just don't go to the movies, yeah, right? You're, you're saving me, it for that special for epic and it's got to be a, worth it. It's, it's got to be an epic experience. And, and, and the one point I made is that I no longer see the difference between a normal movie theater and IMAX. So what I mean by that is when IMAX first came out, mm. the difference between what that IMAX experience was versus a normal theater was step Huge. change. Mm. Right? And you could literally, you could see the difference, you could feel the difference, you could hear the difference, you could use all of those sensory concepts. But, but now, I don't see a significant enough difference between them to, uh, to, to, to see the need to, to pay for the upgrade. Okay. Okay? And I think, I think the movie experience needs to change so going to the movies needs to be, or going to the theater needs to be more about, more about the experience. So, so what, so so what you, makes, so what have makes you, that? Have you, have you guys been to one of these 5D movies? Or the 4DX thing? Whatever it's called. Is, yeah. that, is that where your yeah, seat the, moves the, the and there's wind in your hair? Stick, and, yeah. there's, there's, there's wind in your hair, there's, there's smells. Right? Yeah, okay. uh, if there's a, a fire or something, they, they release like a fire smell. If they they're in a forest, you get okay. this fresh, yeah. like... I haven't, I haven't yeah. experienced so, it. So, um, I watched uh, one of the movies in it uh, that um, it was a comedy, uh, Pitman's Bodyguard. Okay. Which was a really fun movie because it didn't take itself too seriously yeah. and um, some of the scenes were just fantastic. Um, so, it's four seats that are joined and then they shake and move Absolutely. and stuff like that because everyone's got a speaker and then there were co- uh, car chases and every time they went through a puddle, uh, the, the, the thing in front of you would yes. spray you with water. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Absolutely. And, I, and, it, and it, you know, I have thoroughly enjoyed the movie. It was yeah. a great little escape and it was a, a big hoot. And it was expensive. It was more expensive than IMAX. But I'm still talking about it and saying, yes. you know what? That was a great experience. It, it certainly enhanced the movie. Would I want to watch every movie like that? Yeah. Difficult to say. Mm. I must be honest. Because I sometimes, sometimes I even think 3D movies don't add that much. Mm. I, I, they annoy me a bit. Even mm. at IMAX, I leaned over to talk to my wife for a second, suddenly it becomes blurry. Because yeah. of the angle or, yeah, or correct, whatever, right? Yeah. So I'm like, but, so then I have to sit there like, a, a, you know, like at attention. And mm. so, so something is lost, mm. okay? Um, can it get found again? I, mean, I certainly hope so. Um, but <laughs> for, for me, it's more in, I, I enjoy a movie. When I sit there and watch it on the big screen, I enjoy it. That's not the problem for me. No. For me, it's, it's just, just that alone is not worth getting out of my house, getting, you know, brushing my teeth, putting on proper clothes, and taking the drive to go and see it. Just, it's expensive. You just, it's the same as watching a movie 40 years ago. And but 40 years ago, it was a big deal because you didn't have options for entertainment. You see, and I think so, that's so, it. so it's expensive. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's clunky. The, the culture of it. I you mean, know, you don't feel like, whoa, I'm at the movies. It's like, ugh. You know, if, you, if you're a big movie fan, uh, or a, you know, uh, you probably have a pretty awesome uh, theater room or cinema at home with a with a drop down projector with some awesome sound. Uh, so you're under the shaking and vibrating seats, mm. but you can put woofers sure. under your seats and mm. then you can make them shake, <laughs> yeah, right? Absolutely. And uh, maybe you can get your kid to spray you with water. Okay? <laughs> if, if you're yeah, but it'll be all the time. It'll be all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm in the same boat as you. Yeah. I, I still want to get that experience and that be wowed by it, but just going to the cinema, yeah. you're definitely not wowed anymore. Mm. I think, um, I think, I think on that, for me, it's the 
it's the the distance between what you can get at home yeah. versus what you get in the experience. So if you think about it, when we were growing up as kids, right, go to the movies, go to the movies was killer. Why? Well, you could get popcorn at home. That was easy. But watching, you know, watching movies at home, mm. right? Well, as a kid when I was little, we didn't have a, a VCR. Mm. So that was kind of part of the experience, though. Going, getting a VCR, coming home, having to spend half an hour to Let's get it to work, exactly, yeah. plugging it in. Then the guy didn't rewind the tapes. So you got to rewind the tape. <laughs> right, you with Remember me? That, and rewind, exactly. Please rewind stickers. the tape. Kind people rewind tapes, right? But but just that whole sort of you know, or even just watching TV, right, yeah. was a was a small screen experience. A, literally a small screen experience. Now, oh, you can argue like, is is the whatever I don't know how many inches a stair can go screen is compared yeah. to the 40 inches you have it over the 42 or the 55 or the 60 right but but I NTD. don't think exactly NTD. I don't think the experience is enough of a step change no anymore. it's not that's and exactly that's why it's kind of and like also on like the I'll just watch it at home right on the I'm gonna watch it when I want to watch I mean, it like on a, on a, I mean remember Friday releases were like if you didn't book or if you're not no, there forget early it. forget about yeah. it right? yeah, I mean now it's, well, are we gonna watch this movie this weekend yeah? are we gonna book why yeah. mm. you know, where are we gonna watch I don't know we could watch it in any cinema right I mean so essentially it's it is something that's ripe for disruption. Something's got to change about it. Because I just get the idea, like, as as attendant, a, attendance declines, they just charge more money Absolutely. rather than uh, rather than uh, something must change. And and we've and there are ideas like having the football on. You know, let's let, make an event at a, at a theatre sure. on a Tuesday night. Have four screens, four cinemas dedicated to the football, and you can do a whole event around that. Someone else had an idea about e gaming. You know, yeah. gaming is huge. You know, so you get champion gamers go and watch a a you know world of Warcraft or Rocket League for me one day no, maybe <laughs> um, you know go watch it go watch you know the big players play I imagine think watching a Formula experience. 1 race yeah. in a movie theatre with that sound mm. right I, I, I think that could be quite incredible mm. you know I, it's goosebumps stuff exactly yeah. right I mean you, you're really going to hear it you're really going to see it it's, it's, it's immersive and I think I think they need to think about the way some of the tech changes so, so I've often wondered why doesn't the screen wrap around onto the roof mm. you know why don't I, I'm just saying, <laughs> no, it's, it's a box. You're sitting in a box, right? Essentially, a movie theater is a box. Mm. Right? So why must the screen only be on the far wall? Why isn't it? No, fair enough. You know, just that gets you a step closer to that sort of completely. Well, I guess the answer lies in the Oasis, right? Imagine yeah, well, if that's what you're going to the movie experience. Well, listen, you if come you here, you plug in, and now you're like in the movie. Kind of well, like he yeah. was when he was going through. Is that version one or okay. games? And, and maybe it is. And and you know what? If it does come to pass, the, the, that's the, the, that's pretty much the end of the movie theater as we understand it, right? Because it becomes a whole different yeah. thing.